Okay, so we're back at the studio today. I think on the docket we have trimming the plates that we made um, and then possibly throwing some cups. Um, that's going to be really exciting because I feel like this is going quicker than I thought. If I can throw those cups now, I might be able to trim them later in the day. So that'll be exciting. So we've got trim plates. So I'm pretty happy with how this plate turned out. It is loose on the back, so I'm trying to hold it down. Um, but did a little trimming here on the top and then a little bit on the sides as well. And then a slight bevel on the bottom. You can probably tell with the shadow here. So um, now I just have to set this out to dry and get ready for bisque. Okay, so now that we have these two plates trimmed and drying on my shelf, um, I actually want to go ahead and test the Blick glazes that I got. So I'm going to use these surprise clay pieces that I made that are already bisque fired. And I still have some time in this studio, so I think I'm going to go ahead and throw those two cups. So yeah, let's get started.
Okay, so I am feeling really good. I finished trimming the two plates that I wanted to get done. I got two cups, or actually three cups, thrown today. So that's gonna be exciting to maybe trim uh, tomorrow or this weekend, we'll see. Um, but hopefully this weekend we can get those plates uh, fired and see how some of the new glazes that I got fall on them. So that's gonna be really exciting. I've gotten cleaned up, so I should probably eat something and get this video edited. in the studio and today we are going to be trimming cups I had a note the other day that I realized when I was making cups one of the balls of clay was the previous clay that I used not the charcoal that I'm trying to use so I threw three cups instead of two and um, hopefully they're not too dry because what I want to do um, I'll show you the inspiration that I have for the cups. I want to do some that are actually like trimmed um, regularly, some that are sort of indented or molded to a finger, and then some that are carved. So instead of, I accidentally threw three, I only need two, but I'm probably going to end up making like six <laughs> just so I can play with the styles that I want to use. So. Let's get those cups trimmed and molded, and then maybe I'll revisit and see what we want to do next. Okay. So here are the three cups. Um, they might be too dry, or I think they actually are too dry to do the hand molding that I wanted to do, but they're actually in good shape for me to just trim regularly and carve. So I'm excited to get that done today. I've got my sticky bat that I'm going to use. So yeah, let's get at it. Okay, quick thing I do want to say before we get started. Um, I don't actually really know how to clean this off very well. <laughs> uh, I do want to make some smaller rings. So I'm going to try to clean this off before I start trimming. And then I can make some smaller rings with permanent markers so I can help center my cups on there. So here is the first cup. Um, they, I think they're all maybe too dry to do any real carving, um, stamping, or shaping. I think I wanted to like hold on to it and shape it into my fingers. Um, but I think they're a little too dry for that. So I was able to just clean it up. You can see this sort of has a little bit of shape to it, which I really like. The other ones probably won't have the same kind of shape, but I'm loving and how that looks hopefully that comes out on camera one cup down two to go this piece is going to be a little different I'm not sure exactly what style but I have a lot more clay to work with on the bottom so 
yeah, I'm going to play with maybe doing an interesting, <coughs> an interesting foot on this. Uh, I guess we'll see when we get to the end of it. <laughs> okay, so I moved on to the gri Giffen Grip. I think it's a little too tall for the um, sticky bat to kind of keep a hold of. Um, so this is what we're going to work with. So looking at the foot, I actually have a lot more space to go down. I made a little oopsie daisy <laughs> here um, and I'm debating whether I should try to fix it or keep it. Um, I think I'm going to keep it because I don't want to go uh, much deeper on this foot, but in this area I am gonna take out maybe like two millimeters more and then I'll get to trimming the rest. So as you can see, there was a lot that I was able to take off of this thing. Um, what I'm going to see is how I like this. I mean, this is a good set, but I feel like it's a little too square for what I've got going on. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Let's, yeah, let's hold on to it because that is a vibe. This is a vibe. I am gonna trim the top. Uh, and try to like bevel this edge a little bit. But this is a vibe, this is a vibe, yeah. It's a little heavy, but it should shrink up a little bit. Okay, so this cup was not what I was thinking or envisioning, but I actually really liked how it turned out. It's a different style, um, so I have to make sure that I take measurements and put this in my not art notebook because maybe I'll make a set that looks a little bit more like this. More feet, more defined edges, I'm gonna hold on to, and it's a healthy cup. It's a, this, is a, this is a healthy cup for those that like some weight on it. All right, so that's done. Okay, so I just took a quick break just to document what I've done so far and to do some work. Um, I'll show you guys what we finished so far. I'm so, so excited. We finished two plates, um, measurements, I think like 8.5 by 8.5 by like half an inch. And then we have two cups. I think those are like three by 3.5 ish. And I'm so excited uh, to have gotten to this point. I still have to um, do some bowls. Um, I'm excited about that because that's kind of the challenging part. I've got like the less challenging part out of the way. Uh, I've also got some other uh, reclaim testing um, that should come out of glaze firing this weekend. So I'm excited to show you guys that. I have some other things that I've got to get done too. So I'm going to end the vlog here, but thank you guys for joining um, and stay tuned for the next few videos we have coming out. See you next time.